Do you feel this existential angst in the air today? I don't think so. Then you must not have heard. What? Uh, Trump announced he's running for president again. Oh my god, I did hear. Oh my, no. Mm -mm. Did I just ruin your day? Yeah. What's up guys, we're here in New York City and we're gonna ask people how they feel about Trump running for president. Do you feel it in the air today? I do. What do you feel? A sense of existential dread, but also peace. The dread may have been because of uh, Donald Trump's uh, announcement last night. What? What's the announcement? Well, he announced he's running for president. Wow. Are you excited? No. <laughs> not super pumped about it. I mean, I'm not ecstatic about it at all, really. Are you stressed? Are you worried? Yes. Did you, like, mentally prepare for it? Um, I did not mentally prepare for it, no, but I, I had I wasn't responsible was, of you. I had a feeling it was coming. What would you say to Donald Trump if he was, like, standing here right now? What would, you, what would be your message? Um, I would ask him to please consider not running for president. You think it would work? No, <laughs> I don't. And what would you say to Mr. Trump if he was standing here with us right now? Drop that. Drop that. Uh, how? What would be the method? Drop dead. <laughs> Does it matter the We don't need him in America. I hate him. You're not so. ready for uh, Trump 2024? Nope, not at all. I think he shouldn't run. Okay. I think he needs to go away. Okay. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to do it all over again? You're not, you're not ready for that? I'm still dealing with it. We all are. Do you think he can win again? Uh, what, what do you think? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think we know better. I'd like to hope that we learned something from the last time he was in power. If he was here in front of you right now, what would you tell him? Give it a rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we've had it. We're good. We don't need you again. I would say, f you. Can I say that? Yeah. Period. <laughs> I have, like, nothing to say. Like, no. Just period. Period. Um, I probably wouldn't talk to him. Silent treatment? Yeah. <laughs> think that'd work? Um, well, I don't think I can really change his opinion. He's a little bit unhinged. We need everybody to get together to love each other, not to hate each other. If you told him just love people, you don't think he'd listen to you? Nah. He's too arrogant. Plus, he don't like Spanish people, so... Eh, nah, sorry. Don't like Trump. That's too bad. Very bad. Do you think he could win this time, or what do you think? I would like to say no, but then that depends on the people. You don't trust those people? No, I don't, no. Not the people that stormed the Capitol, at least. Which is also kind of funny, yeah. Did they storm the Capitol? It wasn't funny, it was just seeing, you know, like them trying to climb the walls, then them falling and everything. It's like, that's kind of, you know, karma, you know, for being evil and everything like that. What if they got hurt? Sorry, it would be kind of extra funny if they got hurt. I'm, I'm sorry, and not to be that person, but you know, don't try to storm the Capitol, climb walls, kill people. You know, they try to get AOC, but you know, AOC persevered. Yeah. Yes. Queen, she's always a queen, you know. Yeah, Puerto Rican queen, like 